What's up guys? Welcome back to the Third Floor Arcade. This is Jason and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Midway Legacy Cabinet from Arcade 1UP which I just received a couple days ago. Uh, I purchased this cabinet from GameStop.com for $399. Uh, it's also available on the Best Buy website. Uh, I noticed uh, Arcade 1UP is kind of releasing these in waves. So uh, if it's not currently available today, uh, just keep checking as uh, there's definitely going to be more out soon. Uh, my initial thoughts on this, I'm definitely impressed with this. I think it's a great deal for the $399, um, as it has a ton of uh, new features on here. Um, so what's included with that $399? You got this uh, killer riser. Just love how it kind of blends in with the rest of the cabinet. It's got the really nice MK2 side artwork there. It's got the uh, black front with the uh, Mortal Kombat logo. Um, the kick plate on here, this is a new with the uh, Legacy cabinets. It's got this fake coin door sticker on there. Definitely would have preferred if this was like a, um, a plastic molding similar to the MVSX. But uh, honestly, I think this looks better than uh, having all the games listed on there. And I understand they're probably trying to keep the cost low on this as a uh, plastic molding would have been uh, a little bit more expensive. It's got uh, this killer side artwork. You got Raiden there, MK2. Uh, the light-up marquee looks really nice, definitely in line with all the uh, newer Arcade 1-Ups. Definitely would have preferred if this uh, marquee would have would have extended out to the edge here. I think that would have gave it a more authentic look. But uh, overall, I'm still pretty happy with that. Control deck looks pretty good. Uh, I noticed the uh, sticks feel uh, really good, a little bit tighter than uh, the previous Arcade 1-Ups. Um, this cabinet features the 12 Midway Classics. You got a... Uh, the three Mortal Kombat's, you got all the games from the uh, Wave 1 Rampage, um, which included Rampage, you got Defender, Joust, and uh, Gauntlet. Uh, there's also several other games, including Paperboy, which is playing right now. You got uh, Tubin, Wizard, Wizards of War, and uh, Root Beer Tapper, all Midway Classics. Uh, another huge feature, big plus with this thing, is uh, each game has its own uh, menu settings where you can... Uh, Adjust the difficulty, which is huge for games like uh, Mortal Kombat. You can uh, in you can change uh, player lives uh, and also add scan lines, which is uh, definitely just a huge plus uh, for these arcade one-up cabinets. But uh, let's jump into some gameplay on here. Let's check out all 12 games. All right, guys, here we got the main menu screen on the new uh, Midway Legacy cabinet. Um, as you can see, it's presented a little bit differently from previous arcade one-ups as it fits the uh, 12 games uh, one screen. So we got uh, Mortal Kombat, we got MK2, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Tubin, which is a game I never even played before, but I hear it's pretty fun. Uh, Rampage, Joust, Wizard of War. Uh, that's another game I'm not too familiar with. Uh, Gauntlet is a pretty good one. You got Root Beer Tapper. Defender, um, Bubbles, which is another game I never even played before, and finally got the classic Paperboy. Now, I know uh, this cabinet, some of these games, um, you know, have unique controls, like Paperboy in the arcade. You had the uh, bicycle handlebars. Um, so, obviously, here you're going to be playing with a joystick, which isn't really ideal, but uh, either way, it's still great to just have these games. Um, so another one of my favorite things about this cabinet is that uh, each game um, has their own um, settings menu. Uh, for example, uh, let's go to Mortal Kombat here. Now to access these menus, you hit Player Two. Uh, for Mortal Kombat, you can change the difficulty, uh, demo sound, and scan lines. Definitely a huge plus. Um, let's check, check out a game like Rampage. You can uh, change the difficulty up and also scan lines. Uh, Joust. You can. Uh, change up the difficulty, number of lives, and also scan lines. Um, definitely awesome that they added this. I feel like the older Arcade 1UP cabinets uh, really needed this, and it's good to see that they actually um, uh, added this for this, these newer cabinets. But um, let's check out some of these games. Um, let's start off with uh, Mortal Kombat, the original. Fight. <clears throat> Definitely a huge fan of Mortal Kombat. I was I was always uh, better at Street Fighter series, but uh, Mortal Kombat is definitely a classic. Um, let's go, Liu Kang. Let's 
Let's see if I can beat Sonya here. Definitely plays good, no issues with the emulation that I'm noticing. All right, so let's jump out of here. Let's quickly run through all, all 12 of these games on this cabinet. So to uh, exit out of a game, you hold player one, just like the uh, previous arcade one-ups. And uh, another huge plus with this, I forgot to mention, you can actually uh, pause the game, as you can see here. Um, from this uh, screen, you can resume game, reset the game, or quit. Fight. Fight. All right, let's jump over to uh, MK2. This is probably my favorite of the uh, Mortal Kombat. I believe this was actually the uh, all-time highest selling um, fighting game in arcade history with the MK2 cabinet. Definitely plays perfect, no problems with the emulation. Controls are awesome. All right, let's jump out of here. Quick game. Jump over to uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat. I know a lot of people were complaining about um, on the side of the uh, control deck here, it kind of has like a raised edge. Um, honestly, it doesn't really affect gameplay. Um, your hand just kind of rests right over it. Um, so it's really not kind of like a non-issue in my opinion. I think it actually looks good with the red trim. All right, let's jump into here. My go-to is usually uh, Liu Kang, also like Scorpion. Uh, there we go. One thing with this Legacy Cat, I wish they would have um, added a Wi-Fi feature like the Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, it just adds a whole new dimension to uh, these arcade one-ups that you can play, you know, everybody else online, especially these fighting games. I know NBA Jam had that as well. Reptile's kicking my butt here. All right, so let's jump out of here. Quick game. All right, so tubing. Let's see if I can learn this. Back paddle, forward paddle. All right, let's give it a try. So this is obviously a vertical game on a horizontal screen. As you can see, they kind of put in the graphics there to fill in the, uh, the space. Definitely takes a little bit used to getting the, <laughs> these controls down. Come on, get in there. <laughs> I definitely gotta learn the controls on this game, but it seems like it'd be a pretty cool game. I honestly don't remember this game in the arcade back in the day. Come on. All right, so let's jump out of here. It's painful to watch. I gotta learn how to play that one. Seems like a pretty pretty uh, fun game to play though. All right, so let's jump into Rampage. This is uh, one of the games I was really excited to get. So I used to have the Rampage cabinet. Uh, I sold it uh, several months ago. Uh, my big issue with that one it was, that, was that it didn't save scores. Um, and this one does, in fact, save scores. And uh, here we go. So if you're familiar with the uh, Rampage cabinet, it, it was always a uh, three-player deck. So uh, this, this cabinet here is a two-player. So as you can see, you can kind of 
select your own character here based on the, uh, you know, with the joystick. Let's go Lizzie. This is one of those games, uh, I think this came out like late 80s. I remember playing this um, in the arcades as a kid and I was just like amazed by this game. Um, this game also was, uh, I remember playing this on like the NES as well. Plays great, no issues at all. All right, so let's jump out of here. It's awesome to have Rampage back. Fight. All right, so Joust. Joust was a big time hit in the 80s. Um, as I said before, this game was on the um, that Rampage Wave 1, Arcade 1 Up, and it played great, except it did not save scores, which just like drove me nuts. And uh, this one does in fact save scores as my score was saved um, to the right there. Play a little joust. I'm not very good at this. Oh man, already died. Come on, need that egg. So wave two. A game like this, I think it's crucial um, for the machine to save scores. And uh, I'm just, I'm so happy this uh, this Legacy Edition, they, they fixed that issue. Um, and this one does in fact save your scores. But uh, let's jump out of here. Check out the next game. So Wizard of War, this is a game I never even tried. Um, well, let's just take a look at it. This kind of has like a... Uh, and you will never get a bed. Dot, 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 dot. I'm gonna have to do some research on this game, uh, get more familiar with it, but uh, definitely an old school type game. Your Boom! I'm honestly not too sure. Is that? All right, I think that was the first level I just beat. Dungeon two. All right, so let's jump out of here. Seems like a pretty fun game. All right, so next up we got Gauntlet. Now uh, this is a game that also was on the uh, Rampage Wave One cabinet. Uh, the version I had had um, a bad PCB where it would kind of like freeze on level 16. Fight. Um, that was definitely fixed in this one. All right, Elf. Let's go Elf. Yeah, man. Oh, there we go. This is a game I never um, didn't have too much experience with this one as a kid, but uh, definitely a fun game. Seems like it plays perfectly. Uh, no issues whatsoever. All 
All right, so let's jump out of here. All right, so next up we got Root Beer Tapper. Now this, this game uh, does in fact use uh, both joysticks for this game. Um, let me refresh my uh, controls here. All right. I think I've only played this uh, a couple times since I got this cabinet. Seems like a control is really good. This is a game I definitely got to get better at. Um, don't have a ton of experience playing uh, Beer Tapper. But uh, definitely seems like a pretty fun game. I just got to uh, get a little practice in. Definitely a cool game. Uh, let's jump into the uh, next game on this cabinet. Fight. Defender. Now, uh, actually, I haven't tried this yet on this cabinet. Um, I know I know this one was on the Rampage as well, and it had some... It's basically unplayable. The controls were so messed up on it. Uh, let's see if they fix that on here. Fight. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, smart bomb, reverse, thrust... Fire, smart bomb, reverse, thrust. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. I still got, I got to get used to these controls, but it seems a lot easier than the Rampage uh, cabinet. As you're only using, uh, you know, the left half of the uh, control deck rather than the full deck like on the Rampage. Oh. <laughs> I'm sucking at that pretty bad, but... Uh, Definitely the controls are much improved on this. Um, all right, so let's jump out of here. Definitely got to get some practice in on that one. Quick game. All right, so bubbles. Honestly, I don't even remember this in the arcades. Um, so apparently you're like a bubble and you got to like... Kill all the germs, I think. I'll check this out. It's got the same sound effects as uh, Joust. Uh. So you gotta capture all the germs and these little spiders. Uh. Uh, 
Oh, died. <laughs> but uh, seems like an interesting game. Definitely got to learn this one as well. All right, let's jump out of there. All right. Final game. Let's check out Paperboy. Uh, is it going to be a total bust without the bicycle handlebars? Fight. Let's check it out. So here we got brake, throw, pedal. All right. I was always a huge fan of this game in the arcades, and uh, for uh, NES, it was pretty good too. Let's go easy street. Probably be extremely rusty on this, especially with these controls. Oh, already died. Ah. Suck at this game. No tip. Whoa. Now the papers. There we go. Oh, I missed the papers. As you can see, I'm doing pretty bad with this. But uh, it seems like it plays pretty good with just the joystick. A lot of these games I haven't played in a while, like this one. Pretty bad. Pretty bad at it. But, uh... Seems like it plays pretty good. Always been a huge Paperboy fan. Uh, I think it was a good game just to add on to here, even though the uh, controls aren't... Doesn't have the proper controls. Alright, let's jump out of here. Let's go back to the main menu. So overall, guys, I think this is a great purchase, um, especially if you have that uh, that Mortal Kombat from Wave 2 and also the Final Flight cab from Wave 2. If you're looking to uh, condense cabs, um, if you're running out of room, I think this is a great purchase. Um, I think the added um, settings menu is a huge plus for this. Um, just looks great. I love the shape of the uh, side artwork on here. Definitely highly recommend this uh, cabinet. If you're on the fence with this, um, Definitely gets my approval. I like this cabinet a lot. Definitely worth the uh, $3.99. Alright guys, thanks for checking out the Third Floor Arcade. Please like and subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.